Yesterday saw a surprise game update. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 news video. And when I say a surprise, it really was unexpected and it also was pretty small. It didn't even disable mods. And the forum post from the last game update at the end of May is still the one that's being used. And I have seen that MCCC was given the clear. But I haven't seen anything about anything else, but I also haven't seen anything about anything being broken. So what we were expecting was some type of information about the speculated horses pack. I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end, but for now I'm going to focus more on what the update is. I'm also then going to touch a little bit about the console controls and then end with that horse pack speculation. So the Sims Direct tweeted, today's patch includes a small number of fixes as part of the updated gallery servers rollout. They are continuing to monitor the system health while working to address players' feedback and issues, including duplicate thumbnails for one upload. And someone actually asked, Daniel, uh, why don't you communicate direct on patch release what was changed and added as opposed to 30 plus minutes later? And the response was, we just want to make sure the patch notes go through or the patch goes through and is available across all platforms before notifying players. So I can see that, but personally, I would like to see the update notes as soon as they're available or not available as soon as the update essentially is out. But at the same time, I'm just used to that. That's the way it is. So, you know, it would be nice, but I can understand where they're coming from. So we had some quick but important fixes, and I would say small <laughs> fixes. So they're all base game fixes. Good news for El Capitan and Sierra Mac OS users. This update re-enables access to the galleries, so be sure to try it out. And that is really good news because I know, you know, it wasn't available for them. Unfortunately, it didn't bring the news feedback, <laughs> which is the main thing, honestly, that I'm missing right now, other than the bugs that are there too. Um, but also, luckily, uh, some simmers on the new generation of PlayStation and Xbox could find themselves in a loop where the game would shut down before reaching the main menu if the console wasn't set to offline first. That should no longer occur. You should now launch the game while remaining online. Removing an upload from the gallery will no longer leave it as being in your profile if it was part of your showcase. And when filtering on households in the gallery, selecting size of one sim should, would show all households with one or more sims. So essentially everyone. <laughs> but... Um, now it will only show you households with one sim. So there were obviously other issues like follower counts going down. And one that I had reported on was that the download was down. And EA Kate, I didn't see this till like yesterday, uh, had actually responded saying that he believed it was by design as the gallery calculates the number of downloads by unique EA accounts rather than total downloads. I, I'm guessing now versus before, um, and it was to eliminate bad actors from spamming the download button on their own creations and to give a more accurate count. My biggest issue is that given that like the follower numbers are down and they shouldn't have really have changed, then it gives me a bit of skepticism of how accurate the numbers are. And I know someone who had commented on the post, the bug report that I had done had had 500,000 downloads go to like half that. So that's a lot from this. So if I had faith in their numbers, then I'd be go, okay, but I don't. So I'm a little bit skeptical. Anyways, moving on. There was a lot of issue last week. I had seen this in passing. I hadn't actually experienced it myself that people were getting, you know, uh, their posts removed from essentially this console feedback thread. So last week, EAK did do a post essentially addressing it and to reiterate that constructive feedback and criticism is always welcome. And if you look, there is a lot of criticism. So they're not deleting everything, but they won't accept something if it says like, as an example, in short, EA is trash. That's just breaks the rules and so it gets removed. And then if you then go and do another thing complaining about your post being removed, then you're going to get banned. So that's not the way to handle it. And he has information here about how to handle it. I'm not going to read it. You can pause and take a look and I will link to the console thread down below. It is 172 there. So if you want some more information on how to deal with it, if you do get your post removed and what to do to try and perhaps get it back or to find out how to write it in a way that it will be accepted. Because really, there was a lot of negative feedback there and they aren't deleting them all. So 
Anyways, there was some other feedback in addition to that, where, um, you know, someone had said they just wanted the console controls reverted back to how they were. And his response was reverting the console control scheme back to how it was pre-January 31st patch is something he's brought up before to the team. And he knows that the majority of the posters here and in the old thread have provided this exact feedback. And it's one of the options currently on the table for discussion. But it's not confirmation that the controls will be reverted. It's just him simply telling that he's heard the feedback and it's been communicated up the chain. So it's been communicated. What they do with that, you know, time will tell. They also, someone said it would be good to get console players feedback before the changes are implemented. And he agreed with that and he's provided that feedback to the team as well. So he is looking through and reading and providing feedback. This is just sort of showing that. And the, someone said, will you let us know if it's decided to go back to pre-January 31st or whatever? And his response there was it probably wouldn't be him. That type of announcement would most likely come from either the Sims or the Sims Direct accounts on Twitter or via patch notes. So it's not something he's going to be commenting on. All he could comment was that the feedback was provided. And he then just wanted to make a point that he is actually away this current week. So he's not going to be the one looking at it here. He's back on the 20th. So then he'll be going through and looking and replying. So if you've had a comment and haven't seen anything from him, that is why I just wanted to provide that information because he does seem to be doing quite a few responses there. I only showed a handful of the ones that I saw. So now on to the horse pack speculation horse expansion pack speculation so instant gaming which of course isn't an approved site by ea they have this on their site where the sims 4 horse ranch expansion pack is coming on i'm in north america it says july 19th i know some other people said it was july 20th but they were in europe so it still isn't obviously you know been announced by EA, which is, of course, what everybody was expecting to happen this week, that we would get some news because, you know, if we are actually getting expansion pack July 20th, let's say, because the 19th so Wednesday doesn't really make a lot of sense, um, that's really, really soon. And normally they would have announced something like that around this time, maybe in another week at the latest, especially because July 4th is an American holiday, so they won't be doing anything around that time either. So anyways... This should be taken with a grain of salt. And of course, similar to when they've done this in the past, it's just a mock-up using something from Sims 3. They, I believe, did the same thing for high school years when it had leaked with a date. So Somatically, who has provided information on kits before, which he usually gets from the program code, or so he has said, um, has said this time that I don't know how to tell you without spoiling too much, but the pack is real. We're getting a ranch in a new world inspired by the Arizona state similar to this. And he doesn't give any information about where or how he's getting this information, just that he has. And he has been accurate with the kits, but he has said that's come from the code. This is just coming. It's just take my word for it. So someone did say, can you say if the whole expansion pack is about horses or if they have more gameplay? He says more than just horses, other animals too. And then it's a desert world similar to Strangerville in terms of landscape, but with a lot more grass and greenery here and there. So goats and cheese can live, goats and sheep can live peacefully there too. So I'm not really sure how I feel about this speculation. I'm not really a horse person in real life or in the game. And I'm very concerned that EA will not do a good job with them. And even those who really want them, I'm concerned they're going to end up disappointed in the end. Plus, also in Sims 3, they were buggy there too. So, and especially with their track record with recent packs, they they seem to be a little bit lacking to my mind. So I'm concerned that this is going to be the same. But you never know. Also, I think it's too soon for another expansion pack. I know we're getting another expansion pack this year. I was originally expecting that to be in the fall and perhaps that we would get a game pack this summer definitely seems to be pointing that an expansion that this is the expansion that is coming out soon uh but we like still have all these bugs from growing together and also even more so from before not like gardening plus you've got like the console issues just so many things that it just doesn't make sense to me but again 
<laughs> That's just my opinion. Also, July 20th, as I said, is really, really soon, though the short time is somewhat consistent with high school years released last year. When I looked, it was announced on June 30th, and it was released on July 28th, so four weeks later. So based on that, we could get a possible announcement next week. You know, maybe it'll be four weeks, so it would be like next Thursday, but maybe they'll give it five weeks and it still could come this week because the announcement was on a Thursday. Maybe I'll even tease it later today <laughs> and uh, we'll know more by the time this is kind of coming out or shortly after this comes out. But anyways, let me know what you think about this horse expansion pack speculation or about anything else I've talked about in this video. But that's going to be it for this video. Likes and comments are always appreciated and they really help with the algorithms. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!